What's up everybody? My name is Eli and welcome back to my YouTube channel. So, it's been a while. First off, if you're new to the channel, make sure you hit the subscribe button. I make new videos every week. You don't want to miss them. On this channel, I make vlogs documenting my journey through dental school. And sometimes I make videos like this where I sit down in front of the camera, give advice to pre-dental students and talk about dental related topics. So yeah, I feel like it's been a while since the last video, um, the vlog I did at the end of my first semester. And also, I feel like it's been a while since I've done a video of me just sitting down in front of the camera and talking a little bit. So in today's video, I'm going to be talking about a topic that is Googled a lot. Um, it's a question that I know I had when I was a pre-dent that, you know, I didn't really like understand until I really started looking into dental school as a profession. And I feel like a lot of people who, you know, just go to the dentist may have noticed this and had a question about it, but never really found the answer to it. So I'm sure you can tell by the title in today's video, I'm going to be talking about what's the difference between a DDS and a DMD. Before I get into the video, I want to just, you know, sit down and talk to you guys. I feel like, you know, I usually do vlogs. I don't really sit and talk to my subscribers that much. Um, first things first, I recently did a collab video with my friend Lauren on her channel. I'll link it in this video. Um, I know that we have some new followers, some new people in the family that came from Lauren's channel. So I want to just welcome all of you. Thank you for subscribing to my channel. And, you know, since some of you that came from Lauren's channel are pre-med students, even though I'm not a medical student, some of the advice that I give may apply to you as well. Hopefully, you know, if you're a pre-med student, I can still provide um, some kind of motivation for you and, you know, just interesting vlogs and entertaining vlogs to keep you around. And, you know, you can be part of this family with us. So welcome all the newcomers. If you want to know more about me, make sure you check out some of the other videos on my channel. Kind of while I still don't have a whole bunch of videos, you can kind of watch my videos and put together my story and, you know, get to know more about me and really feel like you are a part of the family and, you know, one of my subscribers, which means you're one of my friends. So I want to just talk about one more thing and then we're going to talk about what the difference between DDS and DMD is. First semester finished out nice. I'm getting ready to start my second semester. Um, well, by the time this video goes out, I would have started my second semester. Uh, I'm looking forward to what's to come in 2022 in school on the channel but i did want to just tease this little idea for you all um i kind of got the idea to branch out with the day in the life vlogs and offer some of my good friends an opportunity to vlog a day in the life at their dental schools and send me the footage and i'll edit it and post it on the channel just so all my subscribers can get an idea of what a day in the life is like at other dental schools. Um, I currently have four different dental schools that I'm going to be doing videos of. I need to see how you guys like them. If you want stuff like that, because I know everyone that is subscribed to my channel isn't interested in just Boston University. So I'm really going to need you guys to give me your feedback. Tell me how you guys like those vlogs. And, you know, if you guys like them, I'll find more people at more schools to do them let you guys see what a day in the life of dental students are like at all different kinds of schools across the country and hopefully that's something that is beneficial for you all so i really need you guys to give me the feedback when those videos come out leave comments tell me what you like about them tell me if you like you know what's different about people's schools from mine and stuff like that okay now let's talk about it what is the difference between dds and dmd i feel like a lot of my friends family members automatically assume that I'm getting a DDS when in fact Boston University offers me a DMD degree. A DDS is a doctor of dental surgery whereas a DMD is a um, doctor of dental medicine. I know that the letters don't really line up with the meaning but uh, there's actually a reason for that so let me talk a little bit about DDS and DMD and kind of the history of the names, I guess, that'll make more sense why DMD is Doctor of 
uh, medicine and dentistry. What did I say before? Look, anyway, we're going to get to it, but we can talk about that and then talk about what the difference between the two is. What's going on, everybody? Before we get into the rest of this video, I'd like to thank the sponsors of today's video over at Opti Official. I recently received an Opti Official Oxygen One air purifier. I like to use it when I'm studying. As a very busy dental student, I can take it a lot of different places with me because it's small like a water bottle and I can stick it right in my backpack. As you can see, I like to use it at home. I like to use it when I'm studying at school especially with COVID and things like that. It helps me purify the air around me. And I can also use the essential oils that it comes with to also serve as like a little air freshener that I can take with me on the go. I like to use it at school, at home, even in my car, I can use it as a little air freshener and to purify the air in my car. It's so convenient because I can plug it into my laptop or straight into the desk at school. It's USB-C compatible, which is perfect for the new MacBook Pros that I know a lot of us dental and medical students and pre-dents have. Um, I definitely recommend the Oxygen One air purifier. Also, it's a great way to support black owned businesses. So if you are interested in purchasing an Opti official Oxygen One air purifier, you can use my code student Dr. Eli when checking out at the website and you can get 15% off of your purchase. Now let's get back into the video. So of course I want to cite my sources that way you all know that I am not pulling this information out of nowhere. Um, I think I'm just going to put a screenshot of where I'm getting this from right here on the screen and I'll put the link to this specific article in the description that might help as well. Um, so this article is from Colgate.com. I know this is not your Google Scholar article, um, but I do know that I did my due diligence about this topic and the what's reported on this website is actually very close to what's reported on the ADA website, but this just happens to be what is on my computer right now. So yeah, and you know, it says it right here. So uh, DDS and DMD are the acronyms of the degrees dentists earn after finishing dental school. DDS means doctor of dental surgery and DMD can mean either doctor of medicine in dentistry or doctor of dental medicine. I think I said like each one of those earlier. Um, so yeah, they kind of mean both. So um, according to the ADA, Baltimore College of Dental Surgery, which is now University of Maryland School of Dentistry. If you didn't know, that was the very first dental school. Um, they established the first Doctor of Dental Surgery degrees in 1840. When Harvard University started its dental school in 1867, keep in mind Harvard is one of the other dental schools in Boston. Their degrees were called Dentarie Medicinae Doctorate, Doctor of Medicine in Dentistry because Harvard uses Latin names for their degrees. So that's a little bit of history. Um, keep in mind that, I guess out of coincidence, Harvard, Boston University, and I believe Tufts as well, which is the third dental school in Boston, offer DMD degrees. However, you know, there are a good amount of schools that offer DDS degrees. Off the top of my head, I know University of Maryland does, Howard does, uh, uh, NYU does and you know so on and so forth there is no difference besides the name um, that is it literally the name is the only difference they have the same requirements the schools have the th same coursework it's it's all the same there's no difference between the coursework that's required to get a DDS or DMD both have to take the board exam to become a board certified dentist and that you know, I know it took me a while to get to the point, but the only difference between DDS and DMD are the names or what the acronyms stand for. That's pretty much it. So I know in reality, I could have made this video like a 30 second video and just told you guys that there was no difference, but I did want to kind of do a check in with you guys. Um, I also wanted a topic to talk about, but I wanted to make sure that I just sat down in front of the camera for once in a long time because I know it's been maybe a few months since I did a video like that. Um, since we got some newcomers to the channel, just talk to you all and also answer a 
frequently asked question in the field of dentistry so that everyone could find the video useful. That's all for today's video. Thank you everyone that watched all the way through. Make sure to leave a comment below if you liked the video. Tell me what you think about the day in the life videos from other schools. Tell me if there's some specific schools that you'd want to see. Maybe a school that you're interested in applying to or one of the schools that you got accepted to that you are trying to get more information about to see if you want to attend that school. You know, drop something in the comments. I read them all. I respond to them all. Anyone that's ever commented knows that. Um, and yeah, that's pretty much it for today's video. Thanks everyone. Make sure to leave a like, make sure you're subscribed to the channel. If you watched all the way through this video and you're not subscribed to the channel, why? Why not? Like you already watched. Of course you seem to like the channel. Go ahead and subscribe. I won't let you down. I promise you that. And let's keep growing. So I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.